Come have fun with us and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody, I'm Rick. And I'm Anna. And welcome to our review of Naruto Shippuden episode 284 to 295. Fillers. Fillers, Anna. Yes. Like with every filler, we do a review instead of a reaction. I say every, but that's not true anymore because we reacted to Road to Sakura. But anyway, you get the gist. We watch them by ourselves and now we're doing a review. Anna. Yes. Much like uh, the rest of the fillers, you know, I've been saying uh, for a few of these filler review uh, now that I haven't watched these, right? right? Uh, even though I've watched the regular canon episodes uh, and read the manga, I don't know about these fillers. I didn't know what was happening in them. So this was new material for you. For me, but also for you who's watching Naruto Shippuden for yeah. the first time. These fillers are kind of split in two categories, you know, mm -hmm. the fillers that happen during the Fort Ninja War and this power kind of mini filler arc so we're gonna do our review by splitting them into two and talking about each part separately okay right and so starting with episode 284 to 289 this is mainly you know fillers about kakashi finding the swords mist uh, well kakashi's group yeah. uh, and also you know tsunade a flashback with tsunade and the raikage you know different things happening around the war zone. What did you think of these fillers? I like those overall. I think it's, uh, you know, they're nice. Some are better, some are not so great, but still, um, you know, overall, it's just like little stories of things that might happen, you know, on the side during the war. Mm -hmm. um, or like you said, flashbacks of what happened before. Any of these uh, that uh, caught your attention that you particularly liked? Not particularly, I would oh. say so. I mean, they weren't bad overall. I can't say there was one that, that stood out. Mm. What about you? I think they're interesting only for the fact that, you know, there's a lot of things happening around the, the war uh, and not equal time is given to everything. You know, yeah. a good example of that is uh, Neji's dad, right? We saw mm -hmm. him. We saw him have a brief conversation with his brother. And the next time we saw him is being sealed, right? Right. And you're kind of like, oh. I wish we could have seen a bit more of him, right? right. And so these episode kind of serves to to give you know, some screen time, some to... screen time to other uh, yeah. uh, people that have been resurrected, and that you might think like, hey, you know, whatever is happening with Kagashi and the Swords Mist uh, Ninja, you know? Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. So in that sense, uh, I think they they were nice. The flashback with the Raika against Tsunade was a bit more iffy on, like it kind of felt like there was no real ending. The secret group of uh, ninja who hunt ninja, they just introduce them and then... And then they disappeared. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah, wonder if because true. there's a plan for them later on in other fillers or I don't know. Uh, but I don't know. I think that overall, like you said, they were pretty okay. I feel like it's also a bit dangerous to play with, uh, you know, meetups like this in flashbacks in the fillers because I feel like... It doesn't make sense so much, you know. That the Raka against Tsuna, they have this previous relationship. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it, if, it were, if it had happened, it would reflect into, you know, what's happening now. Right now, yeah. And it doesn't. Remember when so. I saved your life? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, I don't know, like... But it doesn't really contradict anything. It just yeah. doesn't fit. It in raises a, a few questions. Yeah, exactly. And then we have episode 290 to 295. The filler arc power, and this one... Here I have more things to say. Kabuto joins up uh, with a shady guy to try to take control of some power, and mm. then stuff happened. Oh no, oh my god. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh uh, my god, this I arc. <laughs> oh. So, um. let's, let's start from the beginning. First <laughs> of all, uh, I feel like this arc contradicts so many things. Yeah. So many things. Yeah. And, you know, when it started, like, starting with the first episode, you're kind of like, hey, wait, this is weird. Kabuto doesn't look like that. The things are weird, mm -hmm. right? And then it starts contradicting things. And so I started thinking of it like, oh, okay, not only because fillers usually, of course, fillers are always fillers. They're not real. So you have to realize that. But usually they try to feel like they're real. Mm -hmm. And halfway through this one, I kind of felt like, oh, okay, no, they're not trying to feel like they're real. This is more like a movie, you know? Yeah, like a like if it was a completely side thing. Yeah, exactly. You know? a it movie doesn't that have to. Up. It doesn't have to fit with the mm -hmm. 
with the rest of the story. Yeah. But even then. Even then, it wasn't <laughs> enjoyable. Even um, then, yeah. I was looking to it. This was, you know, uh, an art that was made in a uh, celebration of 500 episodes of Naruto. Oh, okay. okay. Like Toro, Total right? Total from, yeah. And uh, as a celebration, I think it could have been better. <laughs> okay, so I mean, let's talk about it a little bit. First of all, the reanimation due to the way they do it here doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Some of those characters make no sense having been reanimated before because when it happens in the canon episodes, they're like, oh, they're like, what am I what doing? I'm happening? alive. Yeah. If, if it had, like, for example, Deidara. Mm -hmm. If it had happened before, he would have known. I mentioned it or yeah. something. Um, and then he then being brought back. They you know, explained it differently and it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, it's just a clone. And then you think, okay, why isn't he doing that all the time then? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, also, the, he says it's a clone, but he uses it like a reanimation jutsu. <laughs> like, make up your mind. Um, and as strange as it was for like the most part, and like you said, maybe like halfway through, you give up on trying to make it fit with the rest of the of the anime. Past that point, it also gets from bad to worse. Yeah. Like the conclusion, what was that? Mm -hmm. So in the end, Kabuto is just helping this random guy for no reason. Yeah, yeah I was wondering, like by the <laughs> end, I, I thought like, oh, are we going to see that actually Kabuto was pulling the string and he was trying to get a specific thing from this guy? But no, he I thought maybe disappears. At least, maybe at least, and they didn't mention, maybe at least he was like just trying to... Practicing his jutsu. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. To see how it works, like to test it. Mm -hmm. But they don't mention anything like that either. Yeah. Even though it does kind of feel like that's what he was doing because he kept taking notes of like, oh, this doesn't work or... Yeah. Uh, I should change that, you know, as Things problems... Went on. Yeah, exactly. As problems start to appear. But I don't know, like... And then in the end, they solve the problem with like the big tower thing. Beam in the sky, yeah. Yeah, but it feels like it's just like two seconds, and then like I don't get it. What was it? What was it? What was what it was gonna it? do? I'm not even yeah, sure. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what. What was the danger? I know A it was gonna here. destroy <laughs> stuff, you know. And then this filler arc does something that I hate in fillers. Uh, is that, in my opinion, it diminishes a lot of yes. the canon events yes. by reproducing them in some way. Exactly. So in this arc, we get Naruto versus evil Naruto. Yes. We get Shikamaru versus Idan. Yes. We get Naruto kind of controlling the Nine Tails Chakra. Yes. Like all these things. Not to mention, we get... um. Minato, Minato appearing, talking to him, talking uh, appearing, to him in, appeasing in, him, yeah. Exactly, which makes no sense because he, it's supposed to be gone. He's supposed to be gone, like he that chakra that he left in the seal is gone, mm -hmm. so he's gone. Like it makes no sense. It <laughs> yeah. makes no sense. But even if it's not made to make sense, I mean, to me, to do it again, yeah, without the emotional impacts, kind of just makes it cheap. Mm -hmm. You know, all these elements, right? When yeah, Shikamaru then, fought Eden the first time, there was emotions to it. Yeah. I don't need to see him fighting a clone. And yeah. then, like, you know. And especially because of the way Shikamaru got rid of Hidan in the end. Mm -hmm. Right? Because he's still alive. Yeah. They buried him in that in that place, in that special place where uh, the... The deer. The deers are, like, Guarding watching. Yeah. Exactly. Like, there's a lot of meaning to all of that, you know? Mm -hmm. And so now he appears... He's kind of a clone, kind of a reanimation re thing. And then he just leaves, like, yeah. kind of just lose by becoming snakes or whatever. Exactly. Like, uh. Uh, It's cheap. Yeah. It feels cheap. It does. And more than anything, you know, because once again, we understand it's fillers. It's not real. Mm -hmm. And this is not even trying to make it fit. You know, mm -hmm. it's not even trying to make you think it's real. Mm -hmm. Past all of that. It's a bad story. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Exactly. It's just a bad story. It's not interesting. Most of the characters are, you know, also uninteresting, barely developed, you know. And the bad guy, he's saying, like, in, in, at the end when he reveals, you know, what his goal was all along. Oh, I gathered these things 
to play a tune and make a tower appear in the sky so that I will Again. get back the power I lost. I don't know what that is about. Yeah. <laughs> what power did you lose? At what point? There's no flashback. Fighting, no uh, fighting Akatsuki, uh, apparently, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, but we don't see. Yeah. I, I don't know what, what is the power that he lost. I don't know who he is. And, no, also and like then the, they say, oh, this guy is a notorious uh, villain who killed so many people. Yeah, like, show me, don't tell exactly. me. Exactly. Like, yeah. oh, it's, it's just... It doesn't make you get invested in anything and anyone, mm. you know. Yeah. The little girl, though, cute. Cute. <laughs> yeah. No explanation to her weird powers, though. But oh, yeah, exactly. It's, there's no explanation to most of the things that happen, <laughs> yeah. which makes it very confusing to watch. Mm. Well. I mean, we usually end this with a... Uh, watch with watch it? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I mean, the first half, you know, the the ones yeah, about the right. war, I'd say, you know, if you have time on your own, they're fine. They're, they're fine. They're okay. Yeah. You can watch them. The power thing, uh, don't. <laughs> don't bother. Don't bother. So, but we bothered. We watched them. And now we're moving on. Mm. Moving on to. More canon episodes. More canon episodes. And. Uh, Anna, yes. I usually ask you two things at the end of these reviews. I'm going to ask them to you. First question, of course, is were these fillers misplaced? Yes. Yes, totally. From the moment the, the last canon episode ended, I was like, I don't, I don't see what could you put here that would make sense to like break the... The flow? The flow well, there. There, there was more fight of the war, you know. I feel like... Here's the thing, you know, now the war started. Mm -hmm. To me, unless maybe there's like an episode or two episodes here and there to show you a few sightings, like the first part of these fillers, right? Where it was like more stuff of the war. But even then, I don't know, like five, six episodes, how many were there? It's a bit much. Yeah, six. Uh, one or two episodes, I could get it. I don't, I don't understand why, why would you interrupt from now until the end of the war? Mm. with like a whole nother story that has nothing to do with it mm -hmm. it feels like it should be a continuous thing you know Until unless, the end. yeah unless maybe there's a point where like there is a, a break in the flow of the fight you know uh maybe there you could introduce something bigger like another storyline but otherwise i feel like anything any filler from now on would be misplaced Oh, that's interesting. Uh, and what about the second half? Misplaced? I mean, if you think especially the first half. The, especially yeah. the second half. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, the first half, yes, maybe. It, maybe fewer episodes would have been better because it ends on such a high note, you know, and like now I feel like it's the moment is kind of gone. Mm -hmm. it, they wanted to make you, you know, like hold your breath for the next, the next episode. And now, you know, it's kind of gone. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, the second half, definitely not, not well placed there. Okay. Yeah. Um, and my second question is, would you recommend this to anyone? Similar, I would say. The first half, yeah, you know, it's fine. You can watch them. They're, they're okay episodes, like we said. But the second ones, the second half, no. The Chikara ones, the power, it's not, it's not a good story overall. Mm, so, no. Yeah. And so where do you think we're going from now on as we go back to the canon? I mean, the, the war continues, right? Now Naruto and Killer B are, you know, in, on, the, on the field or approaching the battlefield. I think what I think ha will happen is that um, the Akatsuki will move their efforts mm -hmm. from like the way the battlefield is split to Naruto and Killer B. Because their goal in the end is to to get those two, right? To get the, the two tail beasts yeah. that are left. So I think wherever Naruto and Killer B are going, the Akatsuki might move their their um, you know pawns there. So I think that the battlefield will shift. I don't know exactly how or where it will happen. Maybe Naruto and Killer B will go to one of the battlefronts and that's where it will happen. But wherever they end up, that's where the war, the whole war will concentrate. Okay. 
Well, we shall see if that is what happened as we react to more episodes of Naruto Shippuden. If you guys want to be there for those reactions, we invite you to subscribe to this channel. The button is down below. Like this video if you did. Comment in the comment section below and have a, have nice, a nice day. day.